Okay. Hello. So this week I'm doing a thrift haul because I shop a lot at thrift stores. All of these items were like a couple bucks or free, um, which I'm excited about. And they're all going to be future projects, which I have... I have six items here for future projects. So leave a comment of what one you're excited for and the one that has the most will definitely be the one that I do soonest, <laughs> which will help me kind of schedule everything. So please, please do that. But anyways, as you might have seen, I like to paint canvas tote bags. I did that with Cruella de Vil. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have another video where I took a tote bag and I painted each side with Cruella de Vil's face. And it came out really cool and it was a lot of fun. And I essentially decided that I wanted to do an entire series with all the Disney villains. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of giveaways with those once I have those <laughs> made and built up. But I've been thinking for a long time how I wanna paint on like regular purses, I don't know what to call it, but thrifted bags. So purses that already exist, I wanna paint on them. There are, there's one other project here and then one other item that I just have to show you. So it's the thing behind me, my backdrop at the moment. But the, it's this really cool, like, I don't know, four foot by five foot canvas painting. It's an original piece by Roth, I don't know who, but his last name is Roth and he's obviously very talented, very talented. It was $22. So, I mean, come on. But anyways, before we get into the purses, this, I don't know if you want to count it as thrifted. I found this in the trash at the thrift store and it's essentially like this mirror. I'll insert a picture so you can actually see it in all its glory, but it's a mirror, mirror frame that was like on a dresser, I believe. But I had this idea as soon as I saw it, just cut out these like little wood rivets here, put some wood filler in the hole, and then I want to put canvas on the inside. And I think I want to paint the mirror from Snow White. I think that could be cool. I don't know. I'll stain it, paint it. I think it could be fun. And it was free, so you know what, why not? Now on to the purses. I essentially have been looking for purses that are like maybe a cool fabric so I could kind of test out how the paint reacts. Cool shapes and ones that I'm just excited for. So I have quite a few here. I'll start off with this one. This is kind of like, I don't know what to call it. Normally I would never use this. This is like a bridesmaid or prom purse. I don't know. But I have this sick handle, which these don't have to be Disney by any means, but I'm not going to lie. This handle, because it's like blue, green, and purple, make me think of either like Hades or Ursula or Yzma. I don't know. Part of me is also thinking like Pain and Panic from Hercules. Sidekicks. But I'm not sure. But there's some ideas with that one. I have this other small one that's kind of like the shape of a Mickey ear. It has this cool clasp and the like pinch pocket. I don't know what to call that. I'm into that vintage sort of pinch pocket vibe though. But I'm not entirely sure what to do on this. I'm not a huge like Mickey person. I'm more of like a, a villain gal which I think I have mentioned before, and <laughs> you will definitely see a theme of that. But I'm not entirely sure what to do on this one. Part of me was thinking like Sorcerer Mickey when he's freaked out and all the broomsticks. But I could also paint like the back. Maybe like Steamboat Willie. Who's that? Pete? Pete, right? Maybe Pete from like Steamboat Willie. So it's very like gray tones. Oh, that could be kind of cool. Like a scene, not just like a up close zoomed in face, but like a scene with Pete. Ooh, that could be cool. That's a thought, that's a thought. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one in the brain case there. Carrying on. This one, this one was just cool. It's like a patent leather. It's very shiny, so I am nervous about the paint like peeling, but I figured I'd try it. 
but it's a nice flat black surface and it's pretty large. So I have space to work with because it's hard to paint small, man. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what to do on this one, you know? So if you guys come up with anything, please let me know because I need help on this puppy, man. I know it has the potential, but I'm a space cadet on that one, man. Okay, next one. I have this guy. It has such a cool shape. It has these cool bamboo handles, which I'm leaving because this purse is just sick as it is. But it kind of has this dinky little strap. This is kind of, I don't know, whatevers. So I might change the strap. But I used to be a Jungle Cruise skipper along with my husband. That's where we met. So did my actual sister and brother-in-law. <laughs> so if you're looking for a mate, if you need one, go work on the Jungle Cruise. Something's in the air, I guess, man. But that's, that's my thought on this. Jungle Cruise on one side and then maybe the Tiki Room on the other because we worked both of those. Um, I don't have an exact design yet, but I happen to go to the library, which you saw in the intro there. But uh, I found this cool book from like, I think it's from like the 70s. And it has this really cool like pictures inside of it that I think I'm going to use inspiration to help make a Jungle Cruise and a Tiki Room based purse on this bad mama jamma. So I'm excited to thumb through that book and come up with ideas because... I'm jonesing for that one, man. And then last, but well, I guess that's not last. Well, this is the last purse I'm gonna paint on. Some of you might be pissed at me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty positive this is vintage. Um, for some reason, I feel like it's from the 40s. I could totally be wrong though. I haven't researched it yet, but it's incredibly well made. It's genuine leather. This is gonna last forever. The zipper is in perfect condition, but it's this black purse that's basically designed to resemble like a man, man's briefcase and I think I might paint it. I do love it on its own. I may paint one side, no sides, or both sides. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm excited for it. I love it so much. The safe part of me wants to like tell myself, don't paint it. You need something that goes with everything. A black purse is great. That's very professional. That's very cool. You're not going to get looks. You're not going to get stares. Blah, 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 blah. But honestly, like that's just, that's just not me. I like having my little bit of freaky on me, man. You know, and it's on a purse. I can still dress professionally and have a freaky purse just saying okay you know but yeah i might paint this <laughs> i also might paint this wallet that i got to go with it as like a little set i'm not entirely sure yet please don't hate me okay so i have one more purse but it's not one that i'm going to paint so another reason why i look at thrifted purses i've been doing this for a while is the canvas bags that I'm still gonna be painting for the Disney villains, that whole series. I like to rip off those handles and put on new ones just to make the piece more interesting. So I found this bag. You can tell I got excited and already ripped the handles off. It's just a pink straw bag that I'm not gonna do anything to. Maybe I'll put like some paints or pencils in it, I don't know. But I have these cool bamboo handles that I think are just so neat. So cool. And honestly, they're perfect for the villain I have in mind, which is going to be July's villain. So next month, you're going to see these puppies in action. So you can feel free to guess who that villain's going to be, because I'm not going to tell you until the video's up. But I'm very excited about this guy. So that's it. I hope you liked this. I hope you're excited for the projects. Let me know down in the comments which one you're most excited for because that will definitely help me <laughs> figure out which one I should work on sooner and kind of create my schedule and my calendar. But yeah, let me know which one you guys are excited to see. And then if you did like this, if you could please thumbs up this video, it will greatly help out my channel. I will see you guys next week back with more painting. Bye.